You ready to rock and roll for the favorite 11, Naheen? Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I know you said at the start, living in Vegas is not like being a tourist in Vegas. And you're never a, a tourist in your hometown. But having said that, what is your favorite Las Vegas casino? That's a hard one. There have been so many <laughs> over the years. MGM, maybe, initially to start with. MGM Grand. Now, is that for gaming or is it for concert venue, boxing venue, sports venue? Because there's a lot of things you can do with these casinos that have nothing to do with gambling. Combination. MGM's a really nice entertainment. You know, it used to be when I was there. I don't know. I haven't been much since I moved out to the Bay Area. Your favorite thing to do in Las Vegas that has nothing to do with a casino? Smoke hookah <laughs> at a hookah lounge out there. The nicest or the best cricket ground experience you've had as a fan? Karachi National Stadium. Your favorite place to eat out on tour or away from home? Zatar in Dubai. Zatar in Dubai. Now, what part of Dubai is that in? Um, it's a chain in Dubai. We usually stay at uh, Jumeirah Beach area every when we go. And we have their number on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite cricketer of all time? Um, growing up was Rukar Yunus. Now is Mohamed Rizwan. And why Wakar Yunus and why Mohamed Rizwan over, over the two different time spans? Growing up, watching that fast bowling live at a stadium was it was it was amazing to watch him run in and those yorkers that and toe crushing yorkers that he used to bowl and if you watch it live it's just mind-blowing so loved watching him bowl live mama Rizvan for he's just an amazing cricketer his history where his father was against him playing cricket and where he had a struggle at the beginning of his career to now where he is now, I think he could be an incredible captain and leader as well. So, you know, I really admire him for that. Your favorite non-cricket athlete of all time? Well, there are quite a lot. I remember 2006, uh, was it Fabio Cannavaro from Italy who won the... <laughs> Forza Italia, Forza yeah. Italia, Forza Italia. So I was, a, you know, I, I really loved watching him, especially the 2006 soccer, football. I grew up calling it football, football World Cup. I was in Toronto and it was amazing watching them win. Uh, then Pete Sampras and Venus Williams. I got an Italia jacket, a football Italia jacket in 2005 that's got three stars on it and I can tell people the year that I got it and that's the line of demarcation because now they got a fourth star after 2006 all the jackets that I sold have the fourth star for the fourth world cup win so that's that's how you know my Italian roots I've, I've had my Italian jacket supporting the the Italian national team for a long time and very thrilled that they beat England in the shootout to win the Euros recently as well I find that Wonderful to hear. Fabio Cannavaro, a wonderful name for my my past as well growing up. And Pete Sampras as well. Another Pete. I'm a Peter. I'm very specific about that. But Pete Sampras, he was one of my idols growing up in uh, New Jersey, being a big tennis fan. And I, my two sports growing up, tennis and ice hockey, you were either a Sampras or an Agassi guy. There was no in between. And I was, an, I was a hardcore Sampras guy. <laughs> Your favorite thing to do to pass the time on a 14-hour trans-Pacific flight going going from the U.S. to Pakistan. There's an awful lot of time to go. What's your favorite thing to do on one of those flights? It's changed with them being a mom, you know, kind of keep an eye on them and keep them entertained. Uh, my husband and I, you know, we enjoy talking and catching up, you know, on that on that flight and watching movies. Okay. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi person? Coke. Can't be the real thing. Your favorite pizza topping? Jalapenos. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like pan pineapple, jalapenos, and chicken. <laughs> that is a, a very unique trio. Jalapenos, pineapple, and chicken. And everybody, the, the typical thing is to get the Hawaiian, the, the ham and pineapple. I wouldn't expect a Muslim to be a ham and pineapple Hawaiian person placing it over that. But how did you come up with jalapeno chicken? 
and pineapple. I'm very curious. I think it was when my husband and I got married. I don't know, someone suggested it to us or what, and we loved it. And ever since that, we'll get it. And I know a lot of people can't understand the jalapeno on it, but we actually surprisingly like it. And if you put a little bit of red peppers on it, it's awesome. <laughs> Your favorite movie of all time? It wasn't a favorite movie, but I have a really distinct memory of, was it Django? Django. Yeah. Django Unchained. Yes, with Quentin. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the movie I watched. <laughs> the Django Unchained. That I watched when I was pregnant with my first one in the movie theater. <laughs> and, and he turned out okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's an interesting movie to go to uh, when you're crying because babies in the womb, they absorb so much. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, your favorite show, yes, to, to binge watch, uh, whether it's Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Paramount Plus, you name it, your streaming service, Dujour, DVD box set. What's your go to binge watching show? A lot of shows. My husband and I watch quite a few together. Um, enjoyed. Uh, I watched uh, Queen's Gambit, really liked that. Uh, Narcos, I watched that with him. Recently, we just started watching Ted Lasso with the Richmond FC team and really enjoying it. So that's our new show these days. I have not got to Ted Lasso yet. I, I did watch Queen's Gambit and that was quite well done. I watched that with my wife and we were quite a big fans of that. And it's almost a shame that it was just kept. It was just designed for one series. You almost wish there would be a, a second season or third season, but it just wrapped up in, in one miniseries. But it was very, very well done. 